subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to create a quick form in Microsoft Forms. So, the first thing you need to do is open up Microsoft Forms here. Um, on the top left hand corner, I've got Microsoft Forms, by the way, opened up in Google, my Google Chrome browser. On the top left, you see this waffle here. If you click on that and you can see all the different options you need. In this case, I need Microsoft Forms there. So we'll open up Microsoft Forms. These are my forms here. And then there's other forms that were shared with you or shared with me in this case. Um, and the third option here is group form. So I'm going to work on these two options here under my forms, new form, new quiz. The one I'm going to focus on in today's video is the one that says new form here. So I'll click on that and what it will do, it will take you to another page. This is the design page to allow you to create a new form. So here you add your questions here, you ascertain or get the responses once somebody's filled out that form so click on questions there give the form a title so this one is ra solutions feedback okay and here you can add a, add a description to what that form is about to get feedback from people about my YouTube channel. So that's what this form is going to be about. On the right side here, you can also add a picture or a logo for your company. So you can insert that image there. So you click on it. You can search uh, for Im an image using Bing, um, the Bing search engine. You can use OneDrive to upload an image or you can upload one directly from your device, which are, you are using. So there you have it. So is, let me see if our resolutions logo is on Bing and it's Bing's searching away for the RA solutions logo it's not on Bing but it gives you an idea what the sort of things you can add on there so it will search for things which have a Creative Commons license uh, so that's really important to know there as well so that's what that image search gives you so here what we're going to do now is add a new question so if I want to find out who's filled out the form first and foremost. So you've got different options you can um, have. You can have multiple choice questions. You can have free text questions. You can give a rating. Um, you can ask for a date. And if you click on this one here, there's other things you can ask as well. So you can ask them to upload a file. You can give a score. You can add different sections for specific questions. So there's a lot you can do within Microsoft Forms. So my first question is going to be, what is your name? So that's gonna be a free text question. So I'll click on text response there, and it comes up with a question, uh, what you want to ask, what is your name, question mark. So that's where the person's answer is gonna be there. Um, you can have it so that answer is required, so it's mandatory, or you can have it as an optional answer. So I'm going to have it mandatory because I want them, I want them to fill in their names. Here, uh, in the ellipsis here, you can obviously have um, different options here. You can add branching, you can have rest restrictions, you can have subtitles as well. Um, you can also here, on the left side, have it so it's a long answer or a short normal answer. So that's my first question done. Second question, let's have a multiple choice um, question. So here, choice. So here, um, <clears throat> I want to add, what is your favorite color? Okay. So you can have one answer as blue, red, just giving you um, examples. You can add Another option here, green, and obviously you can go further. You can choose from predetermined answers here as well. So yellow could be the next one, um, orange could be the next one. And if you want to add other as well, you can add other. So you can click on other, then it will tell them to write something, what their option is, I think. Uh, let me choose, let me see. 
so that's required as well so you click on the ellipsis um, okay so that's done sorry yep next question you could choose a rating what would you give RA solutions out of five stars yeah so you can have it as stars you can have it as a number um, so that's your next question next one add new um, what is today's date so they input the date in there, which is required as well. The good thing is you can move the questions up and down. So you can move this one before the rating one. So now the rating one's last. So you can play around with it um, and move questions around and to suit your needs, really. You can also, at the top here, you can preview your quiz. So if I click on preview, that's what your quiz will look like once you share the link to somebody. If um, that's on a computer, but if you click on this one here, that's what it will look like on a mobile device. So that's what the question or sorry, the uh, form will look like on a mobile device. So if I click on other, you could type in an answer in there as well. So my favorite color is not listed. So my co favorite color is um, pink. Yeah, so you can add your answer in other there or obviously fill out the other details as well. Yeah, so go back. Um, and now what you can also do here on the right side is change the theme of your form how you want it to be presented to somebody who's gonna fill it in so you can have different color schemes here you can have a purple theme you can have a green theme it's entirely up to you you can play around with it you can add your own theme by clicking the customize theme button here um, and you can make it fun I guess by having different um, themes there so that's quite professional I might leave it like that so that's for me to get feedback from my subscribers and once you've finished your form you can click on the share button here and then here what you can do is copy the link you can share the link you can send the form by email you can embed the form onto a website and you can also add a QR code so the people who are filling it in um, scanning the QR code to be able to fill um, the form in so in this instance let me copy the link and let me open up a new tab on my Google Chrome browser let me right click and paste so that will be the link I would be sent by somebody by email or whatever click on it and there's the form so let me fill it in RA solutions what is your favorite color my favorite color is oh, I've typed in other and I've also written in what that other thing is what is today's date uh, the, the, today's date is the 17th and what would you give RA solutions out of five I'll give it full five stars and submit so my um, response is now submitted if I go back to the Microsoft Forms design view I can see my questions but I can also see the responses I've had here look click on that and I can see who's completed that form so you got some analysis as well how long it's taken that person to complete the form um, so RA solutions completed this one the second question they put in other um, so there um, and obviously what is today's date 17 and so on and so forth you can see exactly what that person's put in the other good thing about um, Microsoft Forms is it, it allows you to export your completed form into an Excel spreadsheet at the moment one person submitted and completed this form which is me if I click on open in Excel uh, let's have a look at this so it will open this up in Microsoft Excel and you get this information in a table so I've got all that information there in a table so exactly what I need um, how many stars I got what my favorite color is what's my name what's what today's date is there so if I go back into my um, Microsoft Forms um, questions area so that's really it really um, it's dead easy to be able to create a form um, in my next few videos I'll show you how to use some of these features here how to create a section is really important as well but for also each question I'll show you how to use the ellipsis bit how to use the branching option there 
uh, which I also think it's really important, especially when you've got forms with a lot of questions in there. So I hope this video has helped you understand the basics of Microsoft Forms, how to add a question, how to customize a form, how to change the theme on a form, um, how to use the different options in a form, and how to share a form with colleagues or pupils in a school education or a work environment. I hope this video has helped. Please like, subscribe, and share.